Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Yet another week full of surprises from Kenyans, uh, starting with Machakos, where a law-abiding citizen was robbed along Mombasa Road. And when he went to report the matter to the Machakos police station, he found the thieves manning the police desk. <laughs> you know, I, I can only imagine, that's very awkward. I can only imagine how they received him. Ah, Karibu Gichana, welcome to Machakos police station. Utumishi Pandesote, how can you help us? <laughs> Ah, so uh, reporting a uh, robbery, and you look very familiar. Ni mago kumbuka ki protich usi nula mtaja wajana. Afande bona ukuona isi viatu. Ni kama metulete a change. I try to viatu na mushi pu ingia patu go to me And you see, Kenyans, uh, however, have not seen a big deal with that, because uh, reporting a thief to himself is how most governments work. Why do you think people say serikali kona mkono mrefu? <laughs> and from now on, as a mitigation measure, Kenyans are advised that if anything of that sort happens, please report to the farthest police station. No maya uja mani alienda karibu na mali alikuwa meshiku wa and happened that. The way it happened. Uh, lipata clients karibu. In other news, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta addressed the nation this week and touched the hearts of very many Kenyans when he issued a heartfelt apology to anyone he may have wronged. Other leaders have followed suit, but this particular one caught my attention. Is it just me, or just does anyone else feel like this Mweshimiwa does not look like he's apologizing? Especially me, I've been uh, on uh, the abusive side towards uh, his right honorable Raila Omolo Odinga. So I was also to take that opportunity to apologize. Surely, I mean, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to Like teamwork. Yeah? How does that even work? See, that's a very interesting approach to issues. Uh, honey, I know I've been on the cheating side of this relationship. But now that you menishika, now about you watch it here? To fugue ukura sampia. And the apology of the, uh, the president, uh, the apology from the president was a great idea. Sadly, several days after, there are Kenyans who are still silent, like there is nothing they have to apologize for. Otile Brown has not been arrested days after he was spotted at the Rick Ross concert akiwa na mizigo ya plastic. <laughs> what is he waiting for? Why haven't we had an apology from the person who took this photo? <laughs> we all know the Kotu Secretary General, Ajawai Dungaivi. And actually, I think if you ask me, uh, this is how a trolley balances between Jubilee and NASA. <laughs> you, can't, you can't really tell. Now, there are also reports of an incident that happened in Baringo this week uh, at the home of former President Moi. Uh, it has been described as a cockfight. Story ni atiki faranga ilikataza jama wa makuku kuona jogo. I will not get into the details of that because I don't have the facts. Uh, you say what you want to say at you. Oh, I have chickened out. No. Miss Uwezi wika kwa kitu sijui. And now... Let's hear what our reporter Kenyanji has prepared for us tonight. Tonight, guess what highlights on one of the biggest stories of this past week? That is the event held by the anti-press conference squad at a hotel in Nairobi on Monday. The group which provides VIP goon services waligia na mbwembwe katika hoteli moja hapa jijini ilikumkazia mwana biyashara Timo the Karioki kuogelea mabo ya maedileo ya county. Kwanza walimfanyia interview ya kutest kama yeye ni mwanasiasa by asking obvious questions ndi waone kama atahepa kujibu. Who, who are you said? Who are you? Who are you? He should be allowed to work. Who, who, who are you? Akaigia kwa mutego and he tested positive for politics sababu alihepa maswali. I'm asking you. Who are you? He was therefore transferred to the swimming pool area apapo walitaka kumuigiza kwa maji na kakataa for two liquid reasons. One, Suti yake imeadikuwa dry clean only if your basi wage mfanyia wet fry igeharipika. Furthermore, it was not a swimsuit. Babu yake ya pili ilikuwa ni kwaba the press conference speech was meant for the public na haku wanataka kusoma chini ya maji. They tried all means za kumfanyia tubukiza and at first, he may guna this way to temporary freedom. Next, they tricked him ati wanampea lift na ya kafanya sign language ya kuedesha by scale the real reason behind the disruption and why adults would treat each other like this has not yet been established, but following leads at the beginning of the siege, our gossip department believe it could be education-related. 
There you have it. Walimfanya hivi kwa sababu hawajasoma. Can you check? In the end, Bwana Timotheo was escorted out of the premises by the suspected gunship service providers led by Sage, not his real name. <laughs> they claim to have done this in the name of Governor Sonko, but the county leader has since distanced himself from the incident. The police have offered a 500,000 shillings bounty for each of the five individuals who participated in downloading the guy from the hotel, which begs two burning questions. The whole country has seen these people on TV, so technically, we all know them. Swalini J, can the police afford to pay everyone who has seen the video? If yes, to kujie pesalini. Representing the Guesswork Fraternity on the Wicked Edition, guess who? Kenya. And now to the main subject of our show tonight, Nairobi City, the voluntary torture chambers of Kenya. We can all agree that all the problems in Nairobi are meant to kill you. Sasa, utamuya Nairobi niyo ku survive, sasa. For example, both lack of water and availability of the same is a disaster. When there is no water, we deal with problems like, kuka uka inaituaje na English, staki kusema dry spell, people will misinterpret. Yes, yo. When there is no water, bumbu inaingia mpaka kwa internal organs. Uwe nafikiria wakati ya kunyeshi mbona watu Nairobi wana kuwa naro chafu hivyo. Alafu maji ikikuja, inataka ikubebe ikutue Nairobi yama ingie kwa nyumba yako na madharau, yone mali utalala. This time it's even worse. Mvua inakutafuta mbaka ndani ya matatu. Gone are the days, for real, gone are the days when conductors used to raise fares because of nimbus clouds. Or should I say minimbus clouds. Sai, sai wezi jaribu wata kupandisha fare juu ya mvua inataka kunyesha. Wezi, ewa. Nituwe mia kitu gani na hata dani kuna nyesha. Hii ni gari gari bathi gani. Hii ni do the wholesale. Kwanza hata afadhali do the siku hizi zikona hema. See, siku hizi, nini, point here is, every problem in Nairobi is designed to kill you. In an interesting twist though, the same problems that we face in Nairobi are income generating activities for a section of the population. Mvua ndo inapati yanga makonmen raw materials za kujenga simu za matope za kwa jamu. Wewe ukicomplain hapa ati matope ni mingi kuna mtu anashukuru Mungu akona stock. <laughs> And see uh, the garbage people are complaining about is uh, what some people used to pay rent. Some of the people who made it in the entertainment industry are former garbage collectors. Timmy Dat has a very inspirational stories a story uh, of rising from a garbage collector to one of the biggest artists in Kenya right now. Technically takataka ndio ilitupia Timmy Dat. <laughs> Though personally, I have, no, I have not gotten the connection between Takataka and Kasabuni. Sijui ni gani ya safisha ingine. <laughs> Now, uh, some of the problems the capital city faces are structural. For example, Nairobi was originally designed to inhabit 300,000 people only. Presently, the population is well over 4 million. And we just have the perfect diagram to illustrate that. Hindi yo Nairobi sai. Now, this is too much pressure. <laughs> now, Embakasi West MP George Theuri was so recently on the spot of our Facebook post where he allegedly blamed his constituents for the poor conditions of the roads in Embakasi. Wale watu wajui Embakasi West ni umoja. Why were you guys mad? Mweshimiwa kisema ni nyinyi mmearibu barabara. Kwa ni watu warongai wanatembelea anga barabara za umoja? Ni nyinyi mnazitembelea? Why do you guys walk on those roads in the first place? Hamwezi tembea kwa vichorochoro barabara zipaki mpya. <laughs> Why would anyone drive on the road? Mnafanya barabara zinaisharaka. Hata kama hauna gari na umevaa kala you are still a vehicle. Yes. What happened to zile slippers za umoja? Na mnajua kala ishangini barabara ndio inamaliza. And I don't see I don't see any problem with what Mheshimiwa said. I can only urge him to see actually kama wanaweza ongeza potholes because watu wa umoja wanahitaji hizo mashimo. In Umoja, those are water catchment areas. <laughs> We cannot blame these issues on an individual. Governor Kidero tried. I believe in his heart, Governor Sonko is also doing his best to improve the state of the city. But where did we go wrong? We extend this uh, conversation to the second part of the show with our guest, a veteran Nairobi politician, former Makadara MP Ru Ruben Dolo, to help us break this down even further. See you in a bit. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. The subject on our show tonight is uh, the state of Nairobi City. And our guest is a uh, former Nairobi, uh, former Makadara MP, Honorable Ruben Dolo, here with us for the second time. Karibu sana mwishimu. San Daktari. Aye, sao. Thank so you very much. Handshake. Handshake, handshake yeah. <laughs> Karibu sana. Asan okay. sana, Daktari. Yo mkono yako inafaikwe logo ya hiyo handshake ya hiyo. Aye, naiza tuende too straight to the point. What wanna blame? People are blaming uh, the governor, sana sana, for not working. Wanna say, mame fail. And uh, the same, same cycle ilikuwa kwa kidero. What will you blame kidero for the same? So that we keep governor mungine, the complaints will still remain the same. Well, Doctor, um, just while to mazari wa Nairobi, na saizi na juwa tume, Nairobi siyo vile ilikuwa zamani. Okay. Matatizo ya Nairobi ayakwanza leo. Ya meanza wakati wale mamea walianza kutu kuchukua kila kitu katika Nairobi. Kwa hiyo hii ni ugonjwa imekuwa saa hii ndio imeanza ku, kuonekana. Okay. Na hatuwezi ku, ku, kulaumu uh, uh, Governor Sonko saa hizi kwa sababu amekuta system ya uh, county hall iko mbaya zaidi. Kwa hiyo wale walikuwa pale mbeleni, mamayas. Ukikumbuka wakati ule mamaya walikuwa na waliiba mpaka chain walishindwa namna ya kuiba wakaiba mpaka oh. chain ikauzwa France sasa wewe mwenyewe fikiria <laughs> fikiria ikiwa ikiwa walikuwa wameuza wameuza hizo vitu wakati huo size tukianza kulaumu sonko tumpatie wakati shida ya Nairobi ni nini basi wewe shida ya Nairobi kwanza daktari yes. watu wa Nairobi ni watu wazuri sana ukiwapatia yeah. maji watu wazuri sana ukiwapatia maji Okay, Nyu, sema, nyumba watu wa Nairobi uh -huh. isipokuwa watu wa Ndudi watu. Haya <laughs> sawa. Okay. Ukiwapatia maji, uwapatie transportation ikuwe sawa sawa. Uwapatie eh, nyumba zikuwe safi, watoto waende shule. Hawana mambo mengi. Tai kuweko pale, hawatakusumbua. Lakini kwa sababu cartel zimeingia katika county hall ambao wakati huo walikuwa wakiweza wakipata pesa. Sahi hata wewe kiingia hapo daktari leo na udaktari wako. <laughs> Uingie hapo na madigri zako kumi, hautaweza. Ile kateli ni ngumu sana. Hiyo ni kuadmit that serikali haiwezi fight katel kabisa. Wanajaribu, siwezi kusema serikali haijaribu, serikali inajaribu. Lakini wale makatel wameweka mizizi. Wameweka mizizi huko ndani ukijaribu wana deal na wewe. Lakini sema wamekuta sonko nae ni mtu tafu. Katel ni nani? Hao mamea wakitambo wenye wali banyororo? <laughs> Hao mamea wakitambo wana mizizi zao vile nimekwambia. Wanajua walikuwa nafanya nini? Wanajua hapa itakuwa na mna gani? Sasa wewe kama umeingia hapo jana hutajua mpaka ufanye kazi na wale wako hapo. Kwa hiyo ni kazi ngumu sana. Kwa hiyo daktari lazima sisi watu wa Nairobi kwanza tufanye vile ya kushirikiana tuone kwanza na sisi wenyewe kwanza sisi wenyewe watu wa Nairobi kama vile umesema zamani watu wa Nairobi zamani walikuwa wanaweza wakakaa wakasafisha nyumba wenyewe eh wakapiga kama ni huko kwenye mitaa wanasafisha wenyewe siku hizi vijana wetu ni mogoka na maneno mingi eh hawezi wakafanya kazi umesikia sio wanasafisha digestive system sasa <laughs> Awa, awa, tukisema, tukisema kama sahi problem za Nairobi, kama watu wana complain sana kuna takataka, e, garbage kila mali. Kuna watu yu ndiyo job yenye wanafanya. Kuna watu garbage ndiyo pesa, ya, ndiyo pesa yao mali natoka. Sindio? Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean tumefika place yenye shida zetu, tuta ni benefit kwa mtu mungine, so atuwezi ziguza kabisa. So ni watu wazoe vile wataka Nairobi ama tuwanze kushedu watu tuwaza kaunti. Mambo ya takataka ya jianza leo. Ilianza kitambo? Ilianza kitambo sana. Nipe kuambia wakati wa mamea wameanza kukita mizizi. Mambo ya takataka, walikuwa nasimu wanakuja watu kutoka Italy, wakueza kufanya kitu kama hiyo, inashindikana. Watu wa Italy wanakuja kufanya nini? Si, walikuwa nasema wanakuja kusaidia na mna vile takataka watatoa. Wengine wanakuja na mirari mikubwa mikubwa, mambo kubwa kubwa kwa akili, hazifanyi kazi. Kutoka hiyo takataka, mpaka sahii, ndiyo naona, itakuwa ni kazi ngumu sana mambo ya takataka yaweze ku, 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 kumalizi kwa sababu hizo katela ambazo zilikuwa zikichukua zikichukua takataka walikuwa wakifanya takataka hewa 
Unaelewa? Wanasema wanachukua takataka pahali fulani na hakuna takataka wanachukua. Sasa hii wale wale watu ambao Sonko alikuwa ameziba ame hizo katel. Usiku unakuta wao tena wanaenda na mwaga hizo takataka. Na wanakuja wanaokota. Wanakuja wanaokota tena. Kwa wale makatel walikuwa pale walikuwa naokota pesa unakuta labda anapata milioni 80 ya bure. Kwa hiyo sasa wakati Sonko ameingia akakata hiyo. Sasa wao wameona huyu anatukatia na sisi wacha atatuona. Usiku na wao wanaanza kurudisha hizo takataka. Na hiyo usiku Sonko wako wapi ya kijiwa watu wanaenda kumwaga takataka? Huwezi Nairobi ni kubwa sasa hii. Vile umesema Nairobi sasa hii ni kubwa. Utaona wapi? Nao ni katel. Sosonko akilala anajiwanga kuna mtu anamwaga takataka mara. <laughs> Unajua siwezi ningasema akilala lakini na, mi nimeona ana vijana wanafanya hiyo kazi. Na hao vijana nadhani tungeomba Sonko mwenyewe aweze kutafuta namna vile watasaidika hao vijana kufanya hiyo kazi. Hii ya hii ya handshake ita solve problems zote. Uh, does it mean that kila kitu imekuwa ime stop mpaka watu wasalimiane ndio hapana yes unajua kulikuwa na problem kati ya Raila na Uhuru mara mbili mara tatu na ikaleta mambo ma ya ajabu watu walikuwa hawaelewani hapa kama sisi lakini Islands atakuwa tupigani hatuna hiyo asili kwa boxing a a wacha na mambo ya boxing hiyo boxing tofauti na hii mambo ya siasa. Yes. Lakini unajua kulikuwa watu wamekufa, watu wamefanya nini kwa sababu ya siasa. Unajua ni jambo raibu sana. Jina zetu Tanzania sasa hii hawazungumzi mambo ya siasa. Sisi sasa hizi tunaanza. Kwa hiyo mimi nasema afadhali hii mambo ikuwe na ukweli, hii handshake ikuwe na ukweli. Sio na kwenda pale kujitafutia we mwenyewe. Ah ah. Tunataka hii handshake ikuwe na ukweli kwamba tunaona hii itasaidia uh, amini watoto wetu itasaidia serikali vile itakuwa sio kwamba tuende tu, tulete siasa katika hiyo handshake ah uh -uh, ni maendeleo tunataka kwa hiyo mood ya handshake kuna mtu ungependa kuomba msamaha hapa katika msamaha hiyo ya handshake si president alianzisha hiyo ya kuomba msamaha so mimi kuomba msamaha eh. kama Mi... president ni mkondo inaenda ikifuata unajua kitu cha kwanza kama ni kuomba msamaha napenda kuomba msamaha kama namkosea mke wangu hiyo tu mke wangu kwanza ndio napenda kuomba msamaha na si ulisema wana siasa walipotea naye ama ah ah yule ni bibi Kiswahili kuna bibi na mke hey. unaelewa kuna bibi na mke bibi ni yule wa <laughs> <laughs> Mke wangu utajaribu? Ah. Uja, uwezi jaribu. Utaenda oh. na maji. <laughs> <laughs> Kiswahili bibi na mke ni tofauti. Bibi ni wale wa pembeni. Okay. Sawa. So hakuna so, uh, mtu na omba msamaha leo. Eh? Kuna mtu ama kuna mtu una feel anafaa ombe msamaha specific sio kope hii ni weekend edition hakuna mtu anaweza kukua kwa Kenya wote tuombane msamaha hata wewe daktari naomba msamaha mimi mimi sijafanya kitu kwa nini si ni politicians wanaomba msamaha hapana hapana kuna mtu anajafanya kitu kuna hii kwa hii dunia kuna mtu anajafanya kitu jamani Jamani kuna mtu anajafanya kitu kwa hii dunia. Mimi nakaa kufanya kitu ya. Ah, hata lazima umefanya kitu hata moja. Una maana wewe hujafanya kitu? Ah, mimi. Mimi ah, sijafanya sema. kitu. Hujafanya kitu chochote. Ah. Eh? Ah. Unajua <laughs> unajua dhambi iko kwa siasa. Mimi niko, mimi mtu wa. Mimi mtu wa kawaida. Hakuna mtu anajafanya kitu. Ndio hii wakati tunasema tutakuja kuanza siasa wasikuja kudanganya watu eti Kenya wote huyu fulani ni mzuri huyu mbaya huyu mwizi huyu nani nani clean Kenya hapa kuna mtu msafi Kenya hii eh, tunawajua sisi hakuna mtu msafi hii Kenya bwana Willy Paul Willy Paul huh? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, moving forward sema handshake handshake will solve all your problems
all your problems mpaka potholes kipita pothole msalimiani <laughs> wapi makofi ya bidendele asante sana asante sana kwa kukam kwa show yetu thank you i hope yo itasaidia mali itasaidia that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is dr kingori